Hi everyone, in this video I am going to explain about the triggering in a bistable multivibrator. That means in bistable multivibrator already we know there are two stable states. See here onwards I will use the term binary. This term refers to bistable multivibrator. Bistable multivibrator. So you can call a bistable multivibrator with other names like binary or even you can call it as a flip flop. Okay. So in this video you are going to learn about how a bistable multivibrator is applied with a triggering pulse. What do you mean by triggering? What do you mean by triggering? Triggering is used to change the state of a transistor. See in bistable multivibrator there are two stable states. In bistable multivibrator there are two stable states two stable states so two stable states consider q1 is in on state and q2 is in off state already we have seen the construction of uh, by uh, this by uh, what is this bistable multivibrator with the help of two transistors uh, in fixed bias and as well as in self bias. Okay, in the major configuration of this bistable multivibrator is broadly classified into two types like a collector coupled bistable multivibrator and emitter coupled bistable multivibrator. If you see collector coupled bistable multivibrator, again there are two types like a fixed bias and self bias. Among all these, whatever it is, a bistable or any multivibrator must have a minimum of two transistors. So Q1 is in on state, we are assuming. A condition so q1 is in on state q2 is in off state once the particular transistor is in on state and off state this state is permanent this particular state is permanent until we give triggering until we give triggering pulse okay that means the triggering pulse is used to change the state of a transistor so the main purpose the triggering pulse the triggering pulse is used to change the state of a transistor state of a transistor change the state of a transistor that means we can say from on to off or from off to on okay that is the main importance of this triggering pulse okay so in bistable multivibrator as there are two stable states we are giving the triggering pulse at two places at the collector or at the base so we can give or we can apply triggering pulse at two places one is collector another one is base not both only one okay either collector or base either or okay two places either collector are at the base not two places so as there are two transistors two collectors are there and as two bases are there so at these two collectors we are applying a signal that is called triggering pulse or at two bases we can apply the signal that is a triggering pulse now there are two types of there are two types of triggering techniques are there or triggering methods are there so what do you mean by triggering techniques or triggering methods? One is unsymmetrical, unsymmetrical triggering and second one is symmetrical triggering, symmetrical triggering. So what do you mean by unsymmetrical and symmetrical triggering? Unsymmetrical means, unsymmetrical means there we should use two separate sources 
two separate sources for triggering pulses. In symmetrical triggering, both the signals, both the triggering pulses are coming from the same source. See here, I told you, what I told you here, see, the triggering pulse we are applying at either collectors or at the base. Consider a condition at collector I am applying. Okay, how many collectors are there? Two transistors are there. So, two collectors are there. See, this is the transistor. It is the collector terminal, first transistor Q1 and it is emitter 1. This is the base 1. Now, this is another transistor Q2, base 2. Sorry, this is collector 2, base 2 and this is emitter 2. Now, the two locations are, here we are applying one triggering pulse T1, here we are applying another triggering pulse T2. So, how many signals are there? Two signals are there. If T1 and T2 signals are generated from, T1 and T2 are originated or generated or coming from same source called symmetrical triggering. Hope you understand now. Symmetrical triggering. If both are coming from different are generated from different sources, then we can call it as unsymmetrical triggering. Unsymmetrical triggering. So, triggering means, see the same can be applicable to the basis, but the location is different. Here we are applying the triggering pulse. Okay. So, if both the triggering pulses are coming from the same source, we can call it as symmetrical triggering. And if they are coming from different sources, then we call it as unsymmetrical triggering. So, as I told you, triggering pulse at collectors, we are having a capacitor here followed by resistor. This is the triggering pulse T1 and here a resistor and then capacitor. This is triggering pulse T2. Okay. Now, let us see how the operation, how this circuit operates with respect to this triggering pulse. One more important thing is, we should give a negative pulse, negative going pulse always as a triggering pulse. Pause 2 is not used. Why? I told you. Why? I will tell you now. See, assume a condition like Q1 is in on state and Q2 is in off state. Q1 is in on state, Q2 is in off state. So, as this particular transistor is in on state, Q1 is said to be operated in high saturation region and Q2 is operated in high cutoff region. Okay, that means cutoff means here the potential VBE is not sufficient to make the transistor inactive, to bring the transistor into active or saturation region. Okay, where this voltage is coming from, this voltage is coming from through this R1 and to the, from this C1 collector. Okay, if this VC1 is low, then the transistor comes into off state. And similarly, if this VC2 is low, then this particular transistor comes into off state. But as it is high now, now Q1 is in saturation region and Q2 is in cutoff region. Now, where we need to apply, see this particular state, what I have taken as an example, this particular state is fixed or permanent until we give triggering pulse. Okay, now we are going to give the triggering pulse to change the states of these two transistors so that the Q1 comes into off state and Q2 comes into on state. Now, see which signal is helping to disturb this particular operation, either T1 or T2. See. We, which needs a negative supply to bring from the saturation that is base 1. The base 1 if you are giving a negative pulse here, if base 1 is applied with negative pulse, then what happens? This negative pulse as it is already saturated, this negative pulse makes the junction to break down and so that it comes out of this uh, saturation and slowly moves on towards the cutoff region. Okay, that means this voltage is coming from VC2. So, in this example, when Q1 is in on state and Q2 is in off state, we should give a negative triggering pulse from T2 side. 
so that this negative pulse directly goes at the base one of this transistor so that the base one comes into uh, this junction is not having sufficient voltage to make the transistor in active region or saturation region so transistor comes into off state and then as it is in off state there exists a maximum voltage of vc1 this voltage is applied at the input of this transistor q2 so that q2 comes into on state okay so in this way the two states can be interchanged and similarly this particular state what when q2 comes into on state and q1 comes into off state this particular state is permanent again if you want to change the state we need to apply triggering points on the other hand okay on the other side we are giving a triggering pulse like t1 which is a negative going pulse that is applied directly at the input of this transistor so that again transistor comes into off state so whichever transistor is uh, set to be in on that particular transistor is operated is applied with a negative going supply so that it's a change it's a uh, field of operation like uh, transistor cutoff region saturation region are going to be changed depending upon the negative pulse now the same can be also done with the help of triggering at basis triggering at basis see the circuit diagram properly previously we have applied here at c1 and c2 locations but now we are applying at base 1 and as well as base 2 locations base 1 and as well as base 2 okay so whatever we have done in the case of previous configuration like collector configuration here also we will do the same the negative going pulse we should give at the input of this transistor q2 and as well as at the input of this transistor q1 okay so that negative going pulse goes towards this transistor's particular q2 or q1 if it is in on state that brings the transistor to off state so that the other whenever transistor changes slowly the other transistor will also change its uh, state of operation okay so in this way we can give the triggering pulses at the bases or collectors so that the particular transistor state can be changed so that the unstable states can be a mode into unstable state depending upon the application of signal okay so this is what the triggering in binary thank you